always so positive. Now loaded again too. Hello and welcome to St. Jamie's Girls Basketball Senior Night. Tonight we honor these young ladies for their commitment over the years to the St. Jamie's Girls Basketball Program. First up, number four, Jenna Pignataro. Jenna, it's hard to believe it's been 14 years since we first put you on a basketball court at four years old in St. Joseph's Church Gym. I'll never forget you knocked out your two front teeth that year on a playground. There you were, ready for your first game when we were trying to explain to you how important defense was. I told you not to let your girl get away from you ever and dad would yell, get in her socks, sheesh. You said no one was getting past you because you looked so mean with no teeth. Here we are now, your senior year. We know that this is not how you imagined this season to be after the years of looking forward to it. It's not even close to what we've hoped for or what it would be. Remember, all of these things this sport has taught you through the years. You have mastered leadership, teamwork, sportsmanship, humbleness, and grace in disappointing times. These skills will carry you far in life. Remember the bonds you made, the friendships that were created, and the impact you had on your coaches and teammates, and that they have had on you, especially your three fellow seniors who have played with you since the first grade. Remember, your people on the stands at all your games over the years, and even though we are not there tonight, we are still with you. Jenna, you have been unique since you came into this world. Stay that way. We have seen you, your determination and the amazing quality you have of never getting discouraged when things are really hard. That's a quality that a lot of adults don't even have. Enjoy your last high school season and make it the best it can be. You couldn't make us prouder than you already do. We love you and can't wait to see you on the roads you will travel ahead. Love mom, dad, and Joe. Number four, Jenna Pignatelli. that comes with raising an athlete. We already do. To say that we are proud of you would be an understatement. You have set goals for yourself and have achieved them all. We would be remiss if we didn't thank the coaches that have molded you into the player you are today, from CYO in the fourth grade to a senior player. You have had a phenomenal role models along the way. Thank you to Coach Earp for keeping the St. East program as great as it has been. Thank you to Coach OC for jumping into the program. We will miss sitting in the bleachers with friends that have become our families. We are excited to watch the girls enter the next favorite phase of their lives. Jillian, you are going to kill it at the University of Delaware. The Blue Blends are lucky to have you. Happy Senior Night to all of our senior girls. We are proud of all of you. Love you always. Mom, Dad, Brendan, and Kira. Number 11, Jillian Lester. something she does it. We remember like it was yesterday the first call to coach John. You never played basketball before, barely even touched one, but he and Ken took you in and got you on your way. Coach Lawrence assured us we could do this, but even we had some doubt. He told us he would cry the day that you have left the program for soccer. But here you are, and that day never came. Despite all the obstacles, trials, and tribulations, the conflicts you made it through. Very few knew, know how much you gave to the be successful on this team. There were so many times we wanted to stop you. We were unsure you could keep up at everything at the level of play you were at. We thought the workload would affect your grades, that the punishment of turf and hardwood would eventually take its toll. The exhaustion of traveling all night from soccer event to basketball game would eventually be too much. The risks you took were sometimes illogical. We lost sleep worrying about how playing basketball might affect your future. Yet despite all this, you continue to amaze us and that stay would have come, would have never came. 
We could have never imagined you would have made it to the varsity bench of one of the most renowned girls, girls basketball programs on Long Island by the end of eighth grade. Because you gave everything you had, you are now part of the legacy too. Your accomplishments far exceed your all-conference and all-tournament team honors. You are a true leader in every sense, not with words or titles, but you lead by example in both how you conduct yourself and how you treat your fellow teammates. The maturity and seriousness you bring to your squad has earned you the respect you deserve by all. You are a star on the court, not just because the occasional mention, but because everyone knows you will do anything and everything asked, no matter what, and only care what your team's success and what is best for all. We celebrate that despite nearing the end of this chapter. We are filled with joy and pride for another of your successes. We know that you have gotten so much from these basketball experiences and relationships and will carry them with you forever. We are excited that the University of Maryland will be your next stop. Coach Ray will be your next leader. That you are headed to a place and a situation that you selected and know will be best for you. You wanted it, you got it, and we are so pleased to have been able to support you now and forever and all you desire. Love mom and dad. Number 10, Meredith Cavillia. From the top of your class to your on-the-court basketball sass, you always came to the test ready and wired and to the game with that curly hair on fire. Your heart and passion were always on display. Breaks, bruising, bruises, and bumps the price willing to pay. It wasn't so much the points scored in a night, but to do whatever it took to make the scoreboard look right. All county, all academic, all that and all this, doesn't mean a thing compared to the person we'll miss. A great teammate, sister, and daughter all true, who ranks right up there with just some select few. So take your ball and your ice cream onto something new, where it's bound to be gold, whatever you pursue. For the trail you've blazed is littered with accomplishments abound, and will continue this way until forever is found. Gettysburg, here we come, new friends and teammates waiting. A temporary goodbye to your Arrow family a bit devastating. It's all these coaches and friends who helped you along the way, and they will be missed forever and a day. Always by your side in spirit. Love mom, dad, Shane, and Dakota. Number 15, Mackenzie Slozik. Jillian Glasser, Meredith Cavillia, and Mackenzie Slozik. 